Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports for Night News. I'm Joe Borick, and it was a great evening for our Reading Royals, as this is the latest edition of the Royal Take. As we look at our Royals, in the end, beating the Toledo Wally, the first place in the league, I might add, Toledo Wally, 4-1. to one. What a great win for our Reading Royals, that Hayden Hawkey played like an absolute menace for the to the Toledo Wally, I should say, this entire game, and was massive, clearly the first star of the game for our Reading Royals. It didn't start off squeaky clean and great for the Royals, but they got all the saves they needed from Hayden Hawkey. Then they calmed the Wooders a little bit, and they were able to get it done. Their first goal, of course, came from Trevor Gooch, uh, assisted by Garrett McFadden and Frank D. Shara. Gooch was able to have a very nice shorthanded goal as he shot to the opposite end of where he was skating. Looked harmless, but had a great snipe and looked like the D-man might have screened Caden Fulcher there. The guy that has the NHL-level talent, this is one of the better, not just ECHL, but when he's played in the AHL, he's been good as well. This is a great goaltender to be able to get a victory over. Billy Christopoulos, Caden Fulcher, the goaltending there in Toledo is a huge reason why they're sitting pretty atop the standing. And the Royals come in and beat probably one of the best goaltending tandems in the entire ECHL. They have a very good one as well, but it's just ridiculous the level of Toledo's with Fulcher and Christopoulos who wins goaltenders of the week on top of each other. So uh, they got great goaltending there, and the Royals are able to beat him. He goes 21 for 24. Hawkey goes 39 for 40. Had absolutely no chance. A kind of Bush League celebration by Schultz there for his 10th goal with the has, but he has absolutely no chance to save that, Hawkey. Uh, Millman then scores on a brilliant cut to the net. Great assist by Jake Prisher, Jacob Pritchard. Great job by Kenny Halsinger, shuffling the puck around the boards to set that up. And then Pritchard gets an immediate other assist on a brilliant goal by Dominic Cormier. After Cormier was not able to score earlier in the game, this one sneaks through for him when he, was, when he got robbed earlier in the game on a wraparound. And then to seal the deal... Just to add salt to the wound, Trevor Gooch gets his second on empty net fashion. It looked like it went off of a blade of one of the Wale's players and then went all the way down and in for our Reading Royals. Uh, this was a great overall game. It was a game that was ruled by fantastic goaltending early on where um, no matter who was coming, whether it was Hensnick, whether it was Burry, whether it was Hurd, whether it was even Schultz and other facets of the game other than when he got the goal, Boeing, any of their great attackers, um, it was Hayden Hawkey there for the Reading Royals making the stop. Hayden Hawkey was huge tonight. Our goaltending has been massive all year, especially with Carlos Demenko and Hayden Hawkey. It's great to see Logan Fladell come in, played great. Obviously, in Indy last night, it'll be interesting to see who goes tomorrow. I would think probably Logan, usually the guy that goes in most instances, the front line of the 3-3 three and three goes the back end of the 3-3, three and three, but we'll have to see, especially particularly with how sharp and great Hayden Hawkey looked tonight. But this has been a recap of our Royals having a great win led by Trevor Gooch, Dominic Cormier, and Hayden Hawkey, who are the three stars of tonight's game, as well as Pritchard and Hosinger, who are the honorable mention stars. Uh, Hayden Hawkey stayed in the game with one of the best youngsters in the game um, in Caden Fulcher, who already has had one NHL game and has been good in the AHL. Hawkey definitely uh, made even more of a name for himself than he's already has uh, in this game, standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with a guy like Fulcher. Stay safe out there, everybody. We have another game tomorrow, a little bit after 5 o'clock, against this same Toledo Wally team at 5.15 tomorrow. I would definitely be doing a recap to that afterwards. If you want to check out the preview I did with Hector for the entire weekend, that is going to be linked at the end of this video. It was really fun to have him on. And if anybody else wants to come on that's a fan of the Great Royals, let me know and you can definitely come on to talk about the team. Everybody have a great safe night. Stay safe out there. Go Royals. Great win tonight. Let's make it two in a row tomorrow.